Good morning guys, it's Monday, like 13th of July, it's like middle of July, I haven't vlogged in a while due to like my technological issues, but that's okay, I'm back, I didn't vlog last week, I'm going to try and vlog this week, I'm super busy mostly working because we're on a uni break so I'm trying to work as much as I can but this morning I'm heading to a new market to get the first session of my brows microbladed I'm doing two sessions and I'm so excited like I can't wait to have brows that look like brows so this is like the last moment you're gonna see me with my natural brows they actually look okay today which is like never the case they usually look horrific but yeah i'm super excited okay guys okay guys i'm heading in to get my brows done this is the last time you're going to see my brows just natural no tint no plucking oh my god they actually do need a brush i got these glasses because they like kind of cover my brows to wear today if i'm like super red or anything afterwards but yeah but see you guys in a bit what's up i've got um an aesthetic cream on so i'm just waiting for this to set in i'm just like looking at my phone in the mirror because you guys are on the back camera but um yeah, so this is like the cream it's gonna set in, then we're going to measure and everything, and then she's gonna go and do the microblading. So I'm like pretty nervous, but I'm super excited. Guys, this is after the first round of microblading. She gave me some like aftercare and this thing, and she just said your skin's gonna feel tender for a few days. I'll have redness for a few hours or an hour might be some itching and light flaking during the healing process the after care balm will help soothe my skin and on day two to five my brows will appear darker this is normal and will fade and she just said that fading patchiness and uneven pigment healing is completely normal after the first session and will be addressed in the second session yeah i'm like really happy with the shape and i'm super excited to see how it dries she gave me this eyebrow healing gel which is cool i think it's just like by the brow place i go what's up guys so i've just come to the mall i'm gonna grab some lunch and then i've got to go pick up some pants and then i'm gonna head to clay and just see if i can pump out a few more um mugs or cups today because i don't know when i'll be able to do it next What's up guys? I just grabbed a quick butter chicken for lunch and a coconut sugar. So <clears throat> I'm just going to head out and I'm going to leave the mall, pick up my pants from the alterations place and then head to the clay centre. I've got some fun stains to try out as well as like I just want to try some new techniques today which will be fun. It's kind of my last day to have fun in this break and then I'm like working and doing lectures and stuff so super exciting so i'll see you guys after i've picked up my pants what's up guys i don't know if you can see but i just picked up my three pairs of pants i'll try them on when i get home and make sure they're the right length i didn't wash them for shrinkage before i got them done so i just asked to keep the um material they've taken off although it looks like they haven't taken off much but um I'm so excited, like I'm slowly building a professional slash clinical wardrobe. It's been a slow process over the last couple of years. I've been investing in pieces that I find that I love like every now and then. And then I click them up and take them to get altered so they fit well. If you guys are interested in like my professional slash clinical wardrobe, let me know. I can make a video on it, but just so you know, I'm not in clinic yet so i don't even know if it's really the right stuff to wear but i know that i enjoy the clothes anyway so if i don't end up wearing them in a clinic i will wear them but i'm just trying to like you know get more professional because all my clothes are like giant sweats and leggings and comfy things which i love but which is not really practical when you're in like a clinical setting
guys i'm just at the clay studio um i just tried to make a bowl but it didn't work i'll show you so i'm gonna turn it into something i don't know what but i'm pretty happy with these four like rainbow vessels i don't know if they'll be like cups or mugs or what they're gonna be yet um but they're all pretty much the same height they're definitely not like the same shape or size um so i'm probably just gonna be here for like another half an hour to an hour i'm just gonna throw one more thing but i think i'm getting a little bit impatient but i'll show you what i've done so far so i've got this plate this like jewels cup um yeah more cups and stuff down there okay guys it's golden hour before someone came into the studio before i wasn't telling i couldn't finish what i was saying but i just got an email saying that my mentor of four years from uni she's literally mentored me from my second year of uni till now which is four years of university she's literally been through all my ups and downs she supported me through like my difficult times my injuries um my all my stuff that's been going on this year and i just found out that she passed away she passed away yesterday so that's really sad i don't want to cry on camera i mean i know i cry on camera all the time but like i still haven't really processed it yet i guess i'm gonna go to karakia for her tomorrow evening with all the other staff and students and maybe then i will be able to process it a little bit more i'm upset <laughs> But anyways, I don't want to talk about that on the vlog for too long. At Clay today, I, you know, I'm doing lots of experimental stuff to see what works, what doesn't, what I like. So I tried colouring clay today. So I did red, blush pink, cobalt blue and like neon orange. But of course they all get diluted in the clay and come out more pastely. But I coloured the clay and I layered it and then I threw it so maybe i'll get rainbow cups we'll see um i'll come back on thursday to trim them to see how they go when things like this happen you really feel grateful for life you just never know when it's going to be your last day anyways i've got lots to do this evening so i'm going to head home in the rush hour traffic terrible timing by me but i'll see you guys when i get home guys this is the sky i was talking about it's actually incredible. What's up guys? I'm just waiting for my phone to charge a little bit before I go the dog for a walk i've got some cashew and almond butter between two rice and quinoa cakes and i've got some chocolate milk and one of my new mugs that i made i could definitely work on making a thinner edge it's so crazy like when i you think like i made this from start to finish i quite like it oh guys i forgot to show you i made cleo a little sweater with her name on it look it says cleo and it's like a turtleneck i've just got her harness over the top because we're about to go for a walk she's literally shaking eyeing up my um snap it's definitely like a good time to go for a walk it's cooled down a bit and i'm not supposed to put my brows in the sun but it's the evening we're going for a walk we're going for a walk aren't we um so i'll see you guys when we're back to cook fish for dinner Guys, I always find it easier to print out what we're having for dinner. Um, I'm just going to see, like, I defrosted fish. So I did, uh, like, a four-person one and a six-person one, just depending on how much fish I've got. This is fish that we caught last time we went fishing. And it's just defrosted here. Anyways, I'm going to get cooking tea. Guys, just cooking brownie for dessert. Good 
morning guys. Sorry, I completely forgot to say goodnight last night. I was just getting carried away, like super busy doing stuff. Um, I've been editing, <clears throat> editing a video to put out this weekend. It's not a vlog. I do have lots of vlogs to edit, but I just don't have time to edit a vlog at the moment. Um, so it's going to be like an informational video about health Cybers Biomed. This is day two with my brows. They do look quite dark and quite warm toned. But I know this is not like how they're going to look finally. But I'm just like seeing how I like the shape and things like that. And I think I do like the shape from far away. It does look quite square here though. So I might just get her to round... Like this one's a little bit more, uh, I might just get her to fill out the top of that one like a tiny bit more. Yeah, today I'm literally working all day babysitting and then I'm heading to a little like karakia memorial for my advisor who passed away sadly this evening with some friends. On another note, when I, my hard drive messed up and I had to take it away to get my data off it, I thought I'll try and get some of my old hard drives going. Guys, don't wait like 10 years to check what's in a hard drive because they're really slow. Like, took like days to get stuff off it. And some of them like are dead, like don't even work. What's up guys? Sorry that I forgot to bring the camera today. I just got back from work and on the way home, I wanted to stop at an Asian supermarket to pick up some, I want to say gotchu chung paste. I didn't find it at any other Asian stores. That was the... <laughs> moral of the story so i went to Faro, which is like the expensive supermarket and i found it there i'm gonna make korean let um gochujang lettuce wraps tonight i got some chilies i got um bok choy red onion and capsicum oh this is just a snack salted corn chips maple syrup and black sesame so that's what i'm gonna be making tonight but yeah i'm gonna sit on the couch and do a little bit of editing now because i'm really behind and i also need to watch a lecture so that's what i'm gonna do see you guys in a bit I have to oh, oh, left out of town. What's up guys? I'm just going to whip together some dinner real quick. I'm kind of making it up, kind of got a recipe. But I've got these like thin steak bits that I'm going to use. It's cold. I'm just going to whip up this dinner really quick before I leave tonight. Um... So I'm pretty much going to have maple syrup, sesame oil, soy sauce and gochujang and I'm going to put that on the steak and let it sit for a few minutes and I'm going to prep some fresh chilies, onions, garlics, capsicum and fry that up in the sauce as well with some bok choy and then I'm going to wrap that all in lettuce and that's going to be dinner. Guys I don't know if you care what my dinner looks like. But these are my Korean lettuce wraps. So I'm going to eat these, get ready, and head out. Guys, ignore the mess on my bed. I'm heading out to my advisor's little karakia tonight. And I'm feeling like a bit upset. But I also feel happy that my friends are coming. And we can all be together. I was going to wear all black. But I just couldn't find something I felt comfortable in. So... This is my outfit. These are just pants from my old work. And this is a top from Moochie on factory sale. And this is like my well loved kowtow coat. <laughs> up guys it's i'm home it's like 10 o'clock i've got a really big day tomorrow i've got three babysitting jobs and an osteopath appointment plus i've got assignments that i really need to get started on it's been a hard couple days it was really nice seeing my friends 
tonight and just like being surrounded by people whose spirits always lift me and people who positive and support each other and are just there for each other it's such a nice environment and to be a part of as you all know if you watch my vlogs i got made redundant due to covid from my last retail position and i've applied for literally about 30 jobs i had quite a few responses that like the employer does not want to take your application further and then they go on to kind of like say why and why not and things like that and a lot of the time they would give me the number of applicants for the job and at the moment i'm just looking for like a saturday part-time retail position um i thought about going back into hospitality but it's not my favorite i had a few rejections or like we're not taking your application further which is fair and they were over 400 applications i'm not even kidding for like a saturday retail job 400 and that was for like multiple there's like more than 400 for like multiple applications even though life is tough it's okay <laughs> like you've always got to look for the silver lining and the cloud and you've always got to look for the positives when you can't find any and they are always there so anyways Happy Tuesday night. I'll see you guys tomorrow, Wednesday morning. You probably won't see much of me tomorrow because I'm working. I start at 8.45 and I finish at 7. So, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. It's kind of early for me to be out of bed, to be honest. Usually I wake up around 8 and then, like, lie in bed chilling until about 9. But this morning I've obviously got work soon. Um, I've got a full day of babysitting today which will be really good so i'm just gonna like pack a bag get my stuff sorted for the day um i'm gonna be out out of the house from now until like essentially after dinner and yeah i'm gonna bring the camera i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog but we'll see i'll talk to you guys soon this is what the morning looks like it's not the nicest morning but that's okay what's up guys sorry i haven't updated you today i've literally been like go 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 i haven't even had time to pick up the camera i literally have like a few minutes now just to like say hi i've just driven from oh i've just driven from Rimuera where my last babysitting job was to Herne Bay where my current babysitting job is and this one's only for an hour and then my day is done. I'll catch up with you guys once I'm finished babysitting for the night. Thanks for watching. See you soon. What's up guys? It's officially like five past seven and I'm finished like the biggest day of babysitting I've ever done in my whole life. Like three different families five different kids like it's been a huge day for me um and i'm gonna treat myself by going to food court for dinner um but i'm gonna go home first and see the dog and just drop off my stuff and then probably walk down to get tea so oh i'm so happy that day's over oh aftercare on my brows today is wednesday i got them done on monday so i'll show you what they look like so far they're healing this is what they look like so far sorry like excuse my all my bad skin i wonder if i can get up close yeah but you can see like the little individual like strokes so i like it yeah anyways good night Good morning guys, it's Thursday morning, how's it going? Um, I'm just going to make some breakfast quickly, I think I'm going to have a grapefruit. What's up guys, I'm just heading out to, the, to Newmarket now for this interview. I'm actually nervous, I don't know about, um nervous at this for an interview i think i i think i feel nervous because i know that there's such a huge applicant pool out there at the moment and that i don't really have much 
charts but I am going in with positivity and like a good mindset and just like taking my values to the interview with me but yeah I'm heading there now so I'll check in probably after um, and let you know how it went so what's up guys how's it going I just finished my interview it's almost 11 o'clock um I think it went well but you just never know you know um he said he's interviewing like a few more people today and he'll let me know early next week I don't have my hopes up like high but it would be it sounds like it'd be quite a cool job and something that I'd really like and I got a Starbucks to like treat myself for a good interview what's up guys I've made it to the clay center um it's like oh pissing down out there and I want to take off my nice clothes I bought like a um old jumper and some old shoes to put on because I don't want to get my shoes and coat dirty if you were wondering I was wearing my adidas slicks I've got these old adidas shoes that are already kind of covered in clay that I'm just going to put on I'm going to listen to some podcasts while I do clay I'm listening to the un differentiated medical student at the moment it's a really good podcast about all the different specialties it's like a medical student interviewing heaps of different specialists and even though it's in America I think some things are definitely applicable over here and it's really interesting to just hear about the different like procedures you could do and the different career paths you can take and it's really educating me what's up guys real quick update sorry that like I haven't updated you today I spent a little bit too long at the play center and was running a bit late but I thought I'd just show you I picked up like the last bits of my class glazing that I did so <clears throat> I already had shown you this probably but I got the plate back this is the plate and this is the top this is a butter dish it's really quite big but I like it and I think I'm gonna give it as a gift this is another thing I made it's a Kurunuki box and I made it as a gift and they'll, you, they'll get it before I they see it but it's a very earthy orangey black tone natural clay box and it's quite cute but I'm heading to babysitting now just for an hour and then I'll catch up with you guys afterwards I think I'm going to try and watch a lecture tonight because your girl is behind I'll see you guys in a bit bye what's up guys I'm home I've got like some washing to hang out, some washing to put away, um, some sheets to fold and stuff. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to tidy my desk and sit down and watch a lecture I think because I just really need to get cracking on that um, and I've got a full day of babysitting tomorrow. It's like 10, 10.30. It's 10.30. I just am going to write a to-do list. I've just like cleaned my desk, cleaned the kitchen table. I've just like cleared my space a little bit. And I've got quite a few emails to reply to, uni stuff to organise, just lots going on. So I'm just going to like be methodical, do a to-do list and figure out like what emails I need to send, who I need to reply to, who I need to email, just all the assignments I need to like start and read about and just make a list so that come next week it's not so difficult to tackle so come and be productive with me You look outside and give a young It's just another boy Good morning guys, it's 9 o'clock I've kind of got ready and started my day I'm going to head to the supermarket just to pick up some food for lunch because I don't always like what these people have in their cupboards the people I'm working for today For a long time you've been off your game Don't care to play has been 
not the greatest content for you guys to watch. Sorry, I've just been so busy this week. I really just try to work a lot and I work with children a lot and I obviously don't want to film children and put them in my vlogs, um, even with parents' permission. Um, it's just not something I'm comfortable doing. So that's why I've been like, it's been a bit short and choppy. So I'm really sorry about that. But today is Friday, the last day of the vlog. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Guys, this is the first day I've seen the sun in so long, like proper full sun. What's up guys? I just finished a long day of babysitting um, but I earned the big bucks. These two girls are so much fun and I've had such a good week. I've pretty much been hanging out with them all week. Me and Mackenzie are going to a little memorial service tonight. We just cleaned our shoes. She's cleaning her shoes. I just cleaned my shoes because <laughs> we're both wearing our grubby going out shoes. <laughs> yeah. I'm just wearing this Juliet Hogan dress and my kowtow coat but and i've got a little bun going on i'm not wearing any makeup because of my brow situation i can't wear makeup for a week and we're kind of in a rush because i was being a bit lazy sitting on the couch but i might just end the vlog here because we probably have a quite a long night ahead of us anyway see you guys hope you had a good week and i'll see you next week bye